Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you the way how to make this foil effect. So ok, now we will start from the scratch. Delete all layers and put our logo. We gotta make it a little bit smaller. Add motion blur and make it 3D. So now we gotta apply BCC mixed colors to it and set my settings. Scale X to 250, brightness to 45, contrast to 40, detail to 20 and maximum coarseness. Well, so when we change mutation, it's actual seed, we'll see it just changes our color. But we gotta make it change only if we rotate our logo, so it looks like a reflection of the light. How can we do this? Actually, we will be changing not the mutation, but offset. And let me show you the way. Alright, so we just create a new layer, making it 3D. Okay. And we gotta keyframe our rotations, just making one spin by X axis and Y axis. Alright, so I gotta create a graphs for this. Like, better ease ease for Y axis. And such graph for the X axis. Maybe like this one. Yep, make it like this. That's okay. And now we gotta create our camera. Put it to 305. It's not even necessary to change. And enable the depth of field. Well, that's okay. And now move your cursor to the first frame and link it with your null. So we have a rotation of the logo. We are done, but we need to change a color as our logo rotates. So watch me carefully. Select our effect and link offset to the one of the rotations. Open the expression tab and now watch me. So I gotta name this one like X. Sorry, it's Russian. X. And this one like X. And also I gotta create Y. And this I also name as Y. Now I just copy this one. And that's it. So actually when we rotate an Y axis, it should change the X of that. And if you rotate an X axis, you gotta change our Y offset. This is pretty easy. And then I gotta add variable named multiplier. And set it to 15. And now I gotta just multiply it on our multiplier. Like this and like this. And actually, we are done. That's it. Now you can leave the video, but the further I will show you the way how I add particles. Alright, so actually we need to create our particles. First of all, we'll just create an adjustment layer with deep glow effect. Set our radius to 1500 and actually exposure to 0.6. So it's okay. Uh, next thing, we're making sure that our camera settings are ok, just setting per aperture to 400. That's good. And now I gotta create our particles. Create a solid, name it somehow. Particles, it's ok. Make sure it just uh, below your deep glow adjustment layer. Add the motion blur and apply particular effect. We are nearly done, but we gotta change the preset for our particular. Choose the D-box area. But here is a problem, there is no particles. This is all because our layer starts here, so our particles are also created by the time, which is passing. So we just gotta move it like this, like this, and like this. Well, so now there are many particles in the beginning. It's good. You can also change the size of the emitter 
and add maybe more particles if you want, like to 1000. Okay, now let's render. Okay, so our render is done and look at this beautiful thing we made. Thanks for watching.